hello student now we are going to see how to solve the numerical in hydraulic jump in rectangular channel section so first of all we are going to see the formula which are used in our rectangular channel section generally so the first formula is the our 2q square upon g y1 y2 is equal to y2 plus y1 now the second formula is y2 is equal to minus y1 by 2 plus under root y1 square by 4 plus 2q square upon g y1 g y1 and q is equal to v1 y1 we already know and the next formula that is two number two number is v1 upon under root g y1 and two number at two is equal to v2 upon under root g y2 so these are the formulas which are used in our numericals now the third formula is which is very important y2 upon y1 is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 plus under root 1 plus 8 fr1 is square in which y2 upon y1 is called our sequent depth ratio and y2 is called sequent depth so height of jump the height of jump is equal to y2 minus y1 and length of jump is equal to 6 y2 minus y1 this is the formula generally which are going to use for cal calculating the length of jump. Now, if root number is more than 4.5, if root number is more than 4.5, then we can use the length of jump is equal to 6.1 into y2. And the another formula which is used for calculating the energy loss. So energy loss is equal to E1 minus E2 that is equal to y1 plus v1 square by 2g minus y2 plus v2 square by 2g after solving this we will get y2 minus y1 it's whole cube upon 4y1 y2 now come to the next formula which are going to use in our numericals yc that is the critical depth and we have already known in the first unit that is the q square by g to the power 1 by 3 and q is equal to discharge per unit width so q upon b if y1 is less than yc a jump would occur this is the situation and this is the condition now the last formula which is used for the sequent depth yt in case of sloping jump so in sloping jump the yt yt is our sequence depth yt upon y2 is equal to 1.007 e to the power 3.23 tan theta where theta is slope so here y2 upon y1 here here y2 upon y1 is equal to ma 1 by 2 y1 by 2 y2 is equal to y1 by 2 minus 1 plus under root 1 plus 8 f1 square it means by using this formula we can get the yt with the help of this y2 so if we get y2 then we will get the y2 where yt is sequent depth now come to the power dissipated or energy dissipated so p is equal to w q into e n where w is equal to rho g and q is equal to a into v in which area v y1 and velocity v which is not mentioned here but we are going to multiply with velocity and then e n so these are the formula which are used in our numerical simply we are going to see a numerical in a rectangular jump occurring in a rectangular channel of 3.0 meter width the discharge is 7.8 meter cube per second and the depth before the jump is 0.28 meter estimate sequence depth the energy loss in the jump so how we can calculate this is very easy in the questions given that v is equal to 3 meter q is equal to 7.8 meter cube per second so first of all calculate discharge per unit width q q is equal to that is q by v we can calculate q and q is equal to v1 y1 so we can calculate v1 now
d1 is equal to q upon dy1 and also calculate f1 that is the field number at section 1 d1 is called as g y1 it already has d1 and y1 so it will be 5.60 degree after the calculating and we know that y2 upon y1 is equal to half minus 2 plus under root 1 plus 8 fn square so putting all these values we will get 7.44 so secant depth is equal to 7.44 into y1 we will get 2.08 so by using these two three equations we can calculate the secant depth and energy loss that is equal to y2 minus y1 is equal to 0.4 y1 y2 and that is equal to 2.503 meter in the equations if these are the another parameters by which we can solve length of jump that is 6.1 into y2 already told that in the formula and the height of jump that is y2 minus y1 the strength of jump that is y2 upon y1 occurrence of jump if yc is less than y1 means y1 is less than yc means depth at section 11 is less than critical depth then we can say that the situation occurrence of this jump is less and the specific energy e is equal to y1 plus d1 square by 2g so we can also calculate this one and the energy dissipated how much energy dissipated that is wq into el putting all the values we can calculate the energy dissipated also now come to the another question a rectangular channel carrying a supercritical stream is to provide it with a hydraulic jump type energy dissipated it is desired to have an energy loss of 0.5 meter in the hydraulic jump when the inlet flow number is 8.5 what are the secant depth of this jump it means that flow number is given with respect to inlet section or section 11 and energy loss is equal to 5.0 so these are the given values we know very well y2 upon y1 is equal to 1 by 2 in the bracket minus 1 plus 1 root 1 plus 8 fn square so by putting the root number we will get y2 upon y1 is equal to 11.53 as mentioned here we know that here is equal to y2 minus y1 is whole cube upon 4 by 1 y2 so it will be y1 cube into y2 minus y1 minus 1 is whole cube upon 4 by 1 y2 after putting the value of y1 y2 we will get the energy loss and if in the equation energy loss in the percentage so we can calculate also el by y1 by taking the y1 is common and take in the left hand side so we will get the el upon y1 is equal to y2 minus y2 upon y1 minus 1 is whole cube upon 4 y2 y1 now after putting the value of y2 y1 we will get the energy loss and energy loss is given so we can calculate the value of y1 and in the by fluid number we will calculate the y2 so we will get y1 y2 okay thank you